do want to show what's good about like mainline Hot Wheels, but it's it's hard to put them in the same video with the higher end, you know, more premium die cast things because the the charms of each are very different. Hello, um, let's take a look at a Hot Wheels Premium from Jay Leno's Garage, um, which is a series that I thought I would have absolutely no interest in due to my lack of interest in Jay Leno. However, it turns out that it doesn't matter who owns a car. Um, if the car is interesting, uh, I might find it interesting. And that's the case with the Mercedes-Benz 300 SL. Um, also, this is interesting because it's, uh, let's open it up. It's Hot Wheels Premium. And um, it's based on his car to the point where if there's damage to the car or the delivery um, or, or the paint, as is the case here, they, uh, they reproduce it. So it's got this um, kind of uh, beat up quality to it that I actually quite like. Um, the the casting itself is I really really like this casting I love this car um, and they the premium treatment that they give it is amazing these headlights are very very good they're not duplicated um, the grill is great the silver arrow uh, the wheels they're um, they're racing slicks, but I mean, it's a racing livery. Um, and it has these deep dish wheels that I absolutely adore. Uh, on the front and back. Um, I love the, the peeling car number on the side. It's got the, it's got the little sliding window in the, uh, both the passenger and the, the driving side. It's got roll cage. It's it's just a, a casting that I love. The treatment that they give it is it's fun. This this deep red is very nice. I have um, the, grabbed a main line of it. Well, I grabbed the main the main line of it that I have, and uh, I much prefer this deep red. Um, like the main line though, they don't quite match the red to the, the base, but that's okay. Um, and I do like these, I'm not going to re-review this main line, but um, it definitely feels more special here. Um, whereas this is, I mean, it's a cool Hot Wheels, but this feels more like something you want to display. Um, I was thinking about it and the idea of doing Jay Leno's garage and uh, and how, you know, some would be project cars and things. And at first I thought, oh, well, maybe, you know, the, the paint chips and everything mean that, you know, he's gonna work on it and fix it up. But then I thought, you know, a historical car, you know, that, you know, ran in a specific race or was driven by a specific driver or meant something to you personally, I mean, you'd want to keep in its, the condition that it came to you in, you know, it would be, uh, it would have more meaning that way than, you know, off the factory for floor, um, pristine type, um, version of the car. Uh, like if you're picking it up because the car means something to you, then yeah, keep it in the, keep it in the form that you got it. And I think that's, that's what's going on with this treatment. Maybe not, but in my head, that's, that's what's going on with this treatment. And, uh, I really like it. So, that is not the only Hot Wheels we have today, but the only one for now. 
Now let's take a look at a Tomica Premium. And this is the Subaru BRZ R&D Sport from Tomica Premium. It's not 164, um, it is 160, but I do appreciate that it says right on it what the scale is. Sixty. Didn't mean to scare you there. Whoosh. Um, I guess if I hadn't meant to scare you, I wouldn't have done it again, huh? I shouldn't use the blade edge. <laughs> there. I don't know why they give them those. I guess it holds it in place better, but I mean, you've already got it wrapped in plastic. put this aside and let's take a look um, all of these inserts are going to be out of date by the time I by the time I get them okay so does it roll? It does. It's got plastic tires. Um, copyright 2018. The plastic tires have uh, the line down the middle um, that is raised. So that's what they're driving on. It's not, uh, it's not driving on the whole tire, which makes it a little faster. Um, this livery is a really nice deep blue, or livery, this paint job is a really nice deep blue. And it's got kind of a, I didn't, I didn't expect this, but it's got kind of a super silhouette bodywork thing going on. Like these really chunky wheel well endings, and then coming up in the back too. Diffuser. The back lights are really nice. The number. Just one second. Here's the R&D Sport. I'm just trying to determine if that says STI on it. Um, yes, it does, I think. So, it's number 61. I don't think it's from a real race. Proud of Boxer. Subaru badging's nice. The, uh, the headlights are done really nicely. Whoa. That's, uh, that's not what a spoiler's supposed to look like. <laughs> okay, it's soft. It's very soft. I don't know if it's supposed to be a little, uh, tilted up or not. But, uh... You don't want to be going at speed with your spoiler looking like that. I may have I may have to put an elastic around it or something to hold it in uh, in place for a while. But um, it is soft. It will get it will fix easily. It's it's, uh, it's not glued in incorrectly or anything. That's just from being in the box. I'm liking everything I see here. Um, I love this silver top. Yeah, everything about this uh, delivery is great, um, but everything about this casting is really nice. The grill, 
Um, I like this. It doesn't have any kind of paint treatment, uh, but that's clearly a, a choice um, due to the fact that, you know, there's paint treatment all around it. Um, interesting that the passenger side door gets the, the, wind, the little mini window. Uh, the wheels are cool. It does not have... Oh, it does. Just super small travel. It does have shocks though, but it's so low to the ground that it goes like three millimeters maybe. Um, it has a really nice silhouette. Just a, yeah, just a classic great silhouette. Yeah, something has to be done about this. Maybe I'll elastic band, both of them like this, leave it overnight, but um, I am confident that that'll, that'll be easy to fix. Um, it does explain why um, a previous, um, like a, a WRX that I had, a Subaru one from Tomica Premium, came with the the spoiler and this trunk section was separate and you inserted it um, and it was because it didn't quite fit in the box. Um, and I think that's sort of what's happened here. But it's soft, it'll fix. This is a gorgeous, um, well, a gorgeous car. Uh, and they do a really nice, a really nice treatment of it. These yellow headlights, I always wonder, like, is that an endurance thing? Because I see it often on endurance um, spec cars. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know. Subaru BRZ. Um, I remember I did a bunch of reading on the BRZ when I first encountered it, and it was, like, done in tandem with another company. Um the Scion or something? It was released as the Scion? I might be thinking of something else, but that's okay, because I don't have to be right all the time. What next? What could, what could possibly not disappoint us? Oh, I'm sorry. Let's take a look at a green light. This is Hobby Shop Series 10, and uh, Because it's hobby shop, or yeah, hobby shop, it comes with some random thing. Here it's replacement wheels, um, but well, the white wall on that one's a little messed up. These ones have white walls too, and they're also messed up. Although maybe between them we could find four that aren't. Um, but these these wheels are way way better. Super gorgeous. This is an AMC Matador Barcelona. Uh, from 78. I've never noticed that. If it come in, we're open. So, on the back of this packaging, it tells you what else is in this series. Nissan Patrol, which I think is a Jeep. Jeep CJ5, which I don't really like. Chevrolet M1008 is a military... I think it's a, like a long military truck. Um, Crown Victoria with man in suit. I think I opened that recently and it was a Crown Victoria truck. Wagon, I meant wagon. And then the Ford Bronco Eddie Bauer with backpacker, um, which was tan. It was a tan Ford Bronco, which I don't know if you can tell by the way I'm saying tan. I did not care for it. Okay, so. AMC Matador Barcelona. Um, does it roll? It does, and it rolls well. Uh, gorgeous, um, like ivory. 
off-white color. Um, and then this gold. I was going to say rectangle, but um, it's angled at the back, so the door handles aren't handled. <laughs> the door handles aren't um, great. The wheels are, are just so gorgeous. They look like a roulette wheel. The tires are nice. They are the hard plastic tires, um, which always produce the best effect for green light. Uh, they don't deform as much. And actually, you know what? These white walls are pretty good. Um, they're not perfect. Uh, you know, they're a little off center uh, on some of them, but uh, yeah, they're they're not horrific. This one's maybe the worst, but even it's not that bad. Um, oh, the treatment of the The treatment of the rear end is nice. The AMC badging is so small. The lock is done nicely. I like these lights. Yeah, the paint's not perfect or anything, but you know, it's probably been driving it a while. I like that there's no moving part. I like the black in this grill. I like it a lot. The headlights pop. The turn signals look uh, grubby in a in a kind of in a, not kind of in in a very satisfying way. This AMC badging is also really nice, and the line work on the hood. Um, yeah, the windshield wipers are just kind of hovering, which is a little silly. White interior um, steering wheel looks about a normal size. This is a uh, Matador badging on the side. This is a nice car. I mean, it's a nice car, but and uh, and green light gave it a nice treatment. Oh, the front end is so cool. Yeah, it has a kind of um, you know been driving it for a while feel. Although it's, they maybe could have. Uh, yeah, I guess a lot of the paint feels pristine, uh, just because of the gold sheen on it. Um, but, uh, so it has a combination of, uh, like this grill is like, that's not factory fresh, but, uh, neither is the back. It's the side that kind of gives the impression that it's brand new, but maybe it just had a wash. No, this is nice. A nice treatment of a cool car from Greenlight. I'm gonna have to move Barbie's monster truck Corvette here. She's here for uh, moral support. I don't know where to move her though. Maybe I'll move her to the back. Okay. Let's look at a Johnny Lightning. Um, so this must be 2021 release three. Version A. So, Johnny Lightning, Dodge Dart Swinger 340. Um, I don't think this is going to be a very good version of it, though. It uh, Through the package, it doesn't look particularly well done. Um, but... I have it, and I might as well look at it. Okay, does it roll? Wow. What's happening there? <laughs> this wheel, I don't know if you can see it, let me zoom in. So when I roll it, <laughs> this front wheel keeps spinning as it's not even touching the ground. And have treads on the um what a 
mess. What's this? Okay, came off. Mostly came off. I mean, it's a nice casting. And uh, this actually has a really sweet blue interior. Like this, like, sparkly blue interior with the white. That's, that's really nice. Um, and this, um, I guess it's kind of a sky blue. I don't know what you'd call that. But it's, um, it also looks quite nice with the white. Um, I'm not sure what kind of white you would call this. I guess just like a pearl white. You know what? It says on the thing. That's one of the things Johnny Lightning does. There we go. White. Thanks, Johnny Lightning. The front end. Well, they painted the headlights. That's nice. 70 dirt. Hood opens really easily. And um, there's a little bit of detail on the radiator. It's just blank metal here on either side of the engine. What is going on there? This looks like they cut that out by hand. I think it's just paint. transmission up to that. I don't know. Um, uh, yeah. What else is there to say about this? The color choices are all nice. The opening part has lines that are too big. The engine seems to be placed too far forward. So it looks like, I mean, so it literally, it's just disconnected from everything. Uh, it doesn't roll. The wheels are The wheels are really ugly. They're not that bad in terms of the rubber being deformed, although the rubber is deformed on every one of them. Um, I mean, I'm sure it could just be back in place with the enough effort but um the white behind the chrome is yeah it's just um it's just an ugly wheel for this car i love this line on the back the purple like the the shiny purple with the, the white line and the white interior is a much better treatment of this car um this uniquely Uniquely Canadian car. Um, this is actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be, but it's not good. Um, if it was, you know, if it, if it rolled, if, if uh, that was better, I mean, it would be, and if it had nicer wheels, although I could do a wheel swap. With Johnny Lightnings, it's really easy, because they're like, they're two-part wheels, so you could just pop them off. Um, but anyway, that's not the purpose of this particular video. So yeah, a bit of a... I mean, I knew going in, because I could see through the package that the... Uh, that the, the paint job on the, the front and the back wasn't great. And that's never a good sign. What to do next? Let's take a look at a Tarmac Works. And um, I'm always making a joke about how boring the Toyota Super is. However,
there is a generation of Supra that I think is super cool. So this is from the Macau Guia race. Guia? I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure uh, how to pronounce that. 1987 though. I like these, the speed design in the back. Um, the design of the actual platform it's on isn't, you know, anything special, but it does match the car, um, which is cool. I like the tarmac, puts that uh, extra effort in. So this is number 116 of some number smaller than 9999. Actually, I'll keep that up here because it'll, it'll go back with the, uh, with the case. So, yeah. Um, there's been so many, so many castings and stuff lately of the Supra and the Pandem Supras and the Rocket Bunny. Well, actually, Rocket Bunny. I might have just pulled a thin hair there, but um, and just uh, Supras that I have no interest in at all. Uh, th this is not gonna roll. Um, but this, this. Uh, hard, lined, angular, you know, almost looks like a, um, Mitsubishi uh, Starion with this back window, um, Supra, uh, I mean, I should say that the Starion almost looks like this Supra. Uh, I love, I love the way this car looks. I love its silhouette. These little turn signals. An arrow pointing at a, a tow hook that's not there, but it's cool that they put the arrow on. This is a nice, um... This is a nice livery. The colors on this go together really well. Um, Tarmac's attention to detail with the, with the brake discs is very nice. We have the windshield wiper that's a separate piece. Fire extinguisher in there. We have a uh, right hand drive three color detailed, four color detailed uh, driver's seat. I can't see any uh, dash detail, but there's a roll cage in there or some roll bars actually. Tail lights are handled well. Oh yeah, you can see sort of a little bump where the, the toho could be, but they have the arrow again. It's just a nice touch. Um, that's spoiler screen. This is, uh, the wheels are so cool. This is just, this is just a gorgeous Supra. Um, Like, I mean, it's a little ridiculous um, to do this, and actually I don't know if I'm going to be able to, but I'm going to try, so. And, uh, okay, so, this is a Mini GT, so it's a different level of quality, um, so please ignore that. But this is um, the R32 Skyline. Um, one of my all-time, all-time favorite castings uh, by Mini GT of one of my all-time favorite cars. And uh, I mean, I think this might be on the same level, this Supra. Um, the, the 
casting is not... The casting is not as great. Um, it's hard to compare Mini GT and, and Tarmac because uh, these wheels and the and like the brake disc detail are awesome, um, and Tarmac does a really good, a really nice casting. Um, but I really, I really love that Mini GT rolls. I mean, the Mini GT version of this would be almost the exact same, to be perfectly honest. Um, except that the rear, the side view mirrors would be rubber. Um, it would roll and it would not have the, uh, the separate piece for the, the windshield wiper. Um, actually it might, I spoke too soon. This one does. I didn't think that was something they did. Um, so, uh, I might seek out some of this era of Supra from Mini GT, if they do it. Because, wow, this is gorgeous. I mean, this particular li livery is gorgeous, the Minolta one. Um, I haven't seen it before. And I, uh, I really like it. I really think it's something. But yeah, two great cars. Okay, well, I mean, you know, I've talked about this one to death, but move that out of the way and put the Supra back here. Okay. So, speaking of Mini GT, let's take a look at the Rough Roof Rodeo. I don't know, it's a Porsche 911 with, a, you know, the RUF bodywork company. Bodywork, or I don't know if they do anything under the hood. Um, it just seemed like a rally Porsche 911, so I thought I would give it a try. Because, I don't know if you know this about me, but what is the problem here? I don't know if you know this about me, but I am a fan of Rally. That is a gorgeous color. Does it, it roll? Boy, does it roll. Um, and so the first thing that sticks out to me is that this is not... I don't think this is a rally. Uh, yeah, this is not a rally car. This is an off-road car, and it's got the fog lights. I can see why I was confused, and I totally forgive myself. God, these wheels are gorgeous. The two tones, the like dark, dark green, and the gold, and then the thin, thin red, no, brown, because it's the same. Is it brown? It must be brown. Uh, line between them. Um, but yeah, this isn't, there's no spare tire or gas can up here. This is luggage and a folding tent, it looks like. Yeah, that's a tent. They actually do a really nice job on the molding the the vinyl um, texture. So, I mean, it really gives the, the impression of being a, a tent um, on the roof rack. So it does have the fog lights, which look nice. Um, the headlights are okay. It's got rope wrapped around this like bump or skid plate. Um, yeah, and it's got like a little Willie's Jeep style military uh, spade in the back. Yeah, this girl's a little 
off feeling, but the window's super clear. It's a brown interior. Uh, the windshield wipers look, um, <laughs> I don't know, sleepy, weird. They look super weird. I don't know what that is, but it's cool. The little lightning bolt thing, unless it's a white power thing, in which case it's not cool. Um, this is a super cool Porsche. Oh, it's got some arrow here, going down into the wheel wells. Um, those wheels are so cool. They match the, the paint really well. I love this dark, almost um, green-brown. The tail lights are nice. The brake lights, I mean. It's got the little exhausts. Yeah, it's not a, this is not Rally. Um, I mean, unless it's like for one of those like fun rallies where people go and they uh, they bring their own car and they they rally for like days or whatever, camp at night. Uh, but it's not like a, it's not a Porsche entering a rally competition kind of thing. Porsche, Porsche. Um, gorgeous though, oh my God. And they, these details on the top are, and they're on wood slats. I didn't even notice that. The details on this are flawless. Very, very good. Casting by Mini GT. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna put that aside and let's decide what to open next. We're doing pretty good here. Um, okay, so I wanna open a couple mainline Hot Wheels. I picked out a couple that I thought were kind of nice, and, okay, so, I threw down what this is, but it says it on the bottom because it's a Hot Wheel, Bugatti EB110SS94. Let's see if it rolls. Oh, it does. Oh. Checkmate Mini GT. Um, I should have picked a different example like uh, tarmac. So there's the interior, and the interior seems to be done really well on this one. Yeah, there's only one steering wheel, um, which is how most cars uh, are. And it's got an engine, again, Hot Wheels nailing it every time. Uh, it's designed by Ryu Asada. These taillights are nice, actually. It's got a bunch of um, bumps and stuff on it. And uh, I think these doors, and on the real car, not on this one, but uh, on the real car, these doors probably open. Bugatti. Um, and uh, these wheels are pretty cool, actually. They're the disc wheels, but in the front, they've painted the disc black. Oh, on just one of them? That's very weird. I wonder if this is an error. That's very weird. Hang on a second. I mean, on the picture, it's not painted at all. Although, it's showing this way. So if it was showing this way, maybe it would show painted? Is that a thing? A Bugatti thing? Hmm, maybe I'm not as smart as I thought I was. Anyway, um... The most interesting thing about this car is the fact that one of the wheels is painted in the center and the rest are not. It's painted black instead of silver. 
Chrome. Uh, everything else about it is super boring. Here we go. This is the one. This will convert you to mainline Hot Wheels. It's the Mazda 787B, and um, I mean this one. This one actually does look really cool. I don't know anything about this car. But this is a very shiny. Um, Hot Wheels is really fond of doing the different wheels in the front and the back thing lately. Or maybe not lately, maybe for their entire career. It says Hot Wheels in yellow. This blue is really nice. Um, the treatment of the headlights is interesting. It's black. Mazda logo, just huge. It looks like a spaceship. This is a really cool car. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know what to say about it. Um, you know, they've got the the windshield wiper cast into the uh, cockpit here. Um, the steering wheel is really far away from the seat, but maybe it's it's got a really tall driver with gangly arms. I don't know. It's a very long car. It's probably not going to fit in my display. I don't think I'd display it anyway. Um, it's too, it's too precious, too precious. Let's put this over here. I also, um, I feel like it was a mistake to include those Hot Wheels. <clears throat> so while I was looking at the, at the Hot Wheels at the store, um, in the, uh, you know, intelligent, sophisticated, uh, adult section um, they had a 50 cent bin and um, and that is where I found this which is a uh, Tomica limited vintage uh, Ferrari and it's the F355 Berlinetta which I keep calling the F365 because I'm a simpleton. I love I love the ones that come in this box, this like big square box. They got a you know like a engineer design of the car from that angle. This is shiny you know i like shiny things uh they let you know it's 164. it comes with another quite shiny piece of information Blank on there. It does have some proof of purchases. Um, and then we get the car. So. It says that there's um, a license plate to put on. Ah, there is. But again, I won't be doing that this video. So, the Berlinetta um, kind of reminds me of the Testarossa, just in, in form. It rolls really nicely on those rubber tires. And it has 
Really nice suspension. Just really nice suspension. I had to check to see if that window is actually there. It's so clear. And there's a reflection in it now that makes me sound like a fool, but the windshield wipers are great. The badging is so clear. Look at that. Look at those lights. It's so nice. These wheels are really, really nice as well. The interior is cream with black dash. Um, the brake lights are nice. Uh, they have kind of a skyline feel to them, actually. Let's, um, Let's see if we can see that. Okay, and we have a moving part as well. If I can look at it without blocking the, uh, the light, we can see in at the engine. There's a couple of red details there. Uh, the lines on the moving part are very nice. The back window. First I thought there was a, a big gap, but it's um, the actual shape of the, the rear of the car. That's a black piece of plastic, not a gap. This is just gorgeous. Yeah, it's not my favorite Ferrari. It's so funny that, um, uh, Tomica Limited Vintage have, have a few Ferraris and, uh, and they're really, really nice. Um, but they're, uh, well, they're not, they're not cheap, and I, uh, I really wanted the red one of these, but it was almost twice as much money, um, and there's no way, there's no way, might as well buy a real Ferrari. It's, um, it's funny, though, that just the different paint color, um, I guess it's supply and demand, right, like, everybody wants the red one. I do like this color though. Sort of a not slate, but um I guess bare metal kind of silver or gray. I don't know. It is a very cool car, though. Yeah, if I was rich, I would buy the red F40. I have uh, the blue F40 in Tomica Premium, and it's good, it's okay, you know, um, but it's not you know, that, that level of quality where it's just like everything on it is flawless. Anyway, so just as good as the Hot Wheels, I think. All right, let's make some room. make some room for another green light. This one from the Detroit Speed Series, Series 2, and it's Dave Tucker's 1969 Chevrolet Camaro. Chevy Camaro, and it's a Yanko.
just a bunch of different cars owned by people. Dave Tucker is a name that sounds familiar, though. Maybe from some of my other diecasts. All right, does it roll? It does not. It does not. Go. I do like the, the treatment of the back window. And the wheels are nice. I mean, they don't do what wheels are supposed to do, but aside from that, they look nice. It almost looks like the doors are moving parts. Um, and again, it's this hard, hard rubber that, uh, I think is when green light does its best work on wheels. Door handle's okay. I like this arrow. Oh, the front grill's nice. And the lights. Yeah, I like that, that impression, that shape that it gives. Maybe could do without these two circles down here. They, they look a little off, but I mean, the back is, I don't, uh, wow, green light, just Giving it your best shot, huh? All right. Uh, it looks like if we could see the engine in there, it's actually pretty detailed, but that is as far as that's going to open. The interior is all black. It looks good. It looks good. It looks good. What the fuck? Green light. Like, how many years can a company, I mean, I guess if I, people like me keep buying them, there's no impetus for them to, to do any better. I don't know. Maybe it's one little bit at a time, you know, because I have noticed a lot more of these hard wheels, which do lead to you know, wheels were a big problem with a lot of green lights that I first got. And these harder rubber wheels have m much fewer problems, many fewer problems. In any case, this is, this is embarrassing. Okay. Auto World. has like a hundred versions of this. I don't know. Um, 1976 Pontiac. Well, maybe it's not just Auto World. Um, in any case, it's an iconic car. Lots of people are going to do it. Uh, Pontiac Firebird Trans Am 50th Anniversary Edition.
Yeah, that's quite the wobble. That's quite the, the bulge too. These honeycomb tires are gorgeous with some kind of like silver and red center. Wow. Um, the gold trim, um, you know, the iconic gold trim and uh, Phoenix is, uh, it all looks amazing. The headlights could be better, but um, the grill being under the the casting there uh, it looks great. I think this hood probably opens, but let's leave that for now. Trans Am. Yeah, the gold trim is great. There's a little bit of paint problem there. Little mini Firebird. looks nice. That could be a little more clear, but it's the car that matters. Um, something wrong with the windows. Uh, the interior is all black. Looks nice. Let's see about this. Opens a bit. Big blue boy. Uh, the details on this are nice. Hoses and stuff. It's even got a bit of gold in there. That is a capable enough version of the, the golden black Trans Am. I also, I realize now that this is also golden black. Um, so the different gold, mustard gold. Um, I'd say this is more capable. Like this is more well done than this one um, in terms of quality control. This one has one super glaring, horrifying aspect. And this is all a bunch of okay. A whole bunch of okay. which, I mean, I guess if that's what you want to do with your toy car company is Mitsubishi 3000 GT GTO in Pyrenees Black. It's a cool picture in the back. Uh, inverse, like what do you already call it? Uh, inverted colors of the 3000. Um, Paris 64. I think this is a super cool car. And, uh, okay, let's see what Paris 64 does. They just have a very simple Mitsubishi Motors GTO 3000 GT. And um, this is in just just black, black on black. No racing livery. Does pair 64 roll? Not usually, but we're getting some roll here. 
It rolls better forward than backwards. Um, oh, too close. Uh, oh, wow. These wheels are nice. It does have racing slicks on it. Um, I think this is such a cool car. And this is done really well. The spoiler's nice. The brake lights are nice. 3000 GT badging. Couple mufflers. Um, yeah, that's kind of a lazy door handle, I guess. Uh, silver for the rear view or side view mirrors. I love the skylight. It's a left-hand drive. The headlights are good. They're very good. Turn signals are nice. This Mitsubishi, Mitsubishi badge is sharp. Just, it's just a cool car, and you take a cool car and you, you just make it black on black and treat it right, you know, pay attention to the details, um, give it nice wheels, it's just, it's gonna, it's gonna be cool, it's gonna be, you know. Mitsubishi 3000 GT, and this is a super cool version of it. I mean, it's kind of the easy way to do a super cool version of it, but at least they didn't, um, you know, at least they treated it with care. I probably shouldn't have put in that second green light or auto world. That's, I feel like it's made me cranky, but um, this is beautiful. I'm glad to have this in my collection. All right, let's do a rundown where I try not to use any, um, ungentlemanly language about the vehicles. So, as always, let's start with the good. This Mitsubishi, really nice. I really like this. I'm glad to have it. Um, I'm not sure what distance to do this at. Okay. This Ferrari. Amazing. I'm going to put that a little, you know, in front. Amazing. Very, very good. I think this is also amazing. Um, this Porsche, it's de yeah, that's definitely amazing. That's in the amazing, the amazing part. Oops. Uh, the Mercedes, uh, 300 SL, very, very good, um, from Hot Wheels Premium. Uh, I like the, the lived in look of the, of the car. Um, and the deep dish wheels are just, are just stunning. Um, those push it over the top for me, for sure. Uh, I love the red. Um, good. Let's put this Tomica Premium uh, BRZ. I mean, it's good. It's, there's nothing wrong with this car. It's very good. Um, but it's not very, very good, and it's not amazing, so, uh, I think um, in Amazing, I'm also going to put this Supra. Or is it very, very good? I talked a bit about how Mini GT would handle it, but that doesn't mean that this is bad. Um, this is a pleasure to look at. I love the livery. I love this car. Um, yeah, so this is an amazing. 
for sure. Uh, we have, oops, garbage, garbage, garbage. Okay. Actually, we should make more room for okay because And uh, I th actually, this one's good. This uh, AMC Matador Barcelona. I think this is this is a really nice treatment of this of this car. It's the grill that won me over, and the wheels. These uh, I think gold is not the right word. Um, copper roulette wheels that this thing has are uh, roulette wheel wheels. <laughs> So, I think that's actually very, very good. Um, yeah, the BRZ, not quite on this level, but great. I mean, I think it's, you know, it's definitely not back here with the, the pity inclusion of the Dodge Dart Swinger and this hot wheel that I can't put with the garbage because it's not garbage, but it's also not, you know, it's, I mean, it's not on this level of any of these. So bad treatment of the Dodge Dart is good on the same level of this good treatment of a uh, Hot Wheels that I've never heard of. Yeah. Um, this mini GT Porsche was a real surprise. Uh, I thought it was going to be a rally car, uh, and it wasn't. It was like, like an off-road. I I don't even know how to. It gives a a few different impressions at the same time. Like you're going, you've got a tent, and you've got some very fancy luggage. Um, I mean, you're driving a a Porsche nine eleven. Uh, Porsche 911, you know, you're going to have fancy luggage, I guess. Um, but it's not like you're taking the family camping, you know, in your uh, two-seat Porsche. Maybe you're, you're going on a, you know, a, a weekend getaway with uh, someone else's spouse. So, quality-wise... Um, and just, uh, just getting your attention and being cool wise, definitely these ones. Amazing. I think affection wise, the two that, that really, um, I'm really excited about are this Mercedes Benz and, uh, this Supra. This is just... The silhouette on this is, I just love it. I love it. Thank you for watching and listening to me ramble. Um, I hope that you have a very nice day.